into it today because we are joined by the one. She really is the one, the only. Sorry, I'm in a good mood, Miss Sarah Farasia. David, why are you in such a good mood this morning? You are. You're very happy. He came on here. And by the way, he's got this zip up sweater. Of course, a sweatshirt. If you're watching on YouTube, you already see. But I mean, this man has Tom Selleck chest hair coming out. Honey. Oh, oh my God. We I'm are a stemphic gay with a lot of chest hair. I love it. Yes. Okay, first of all, I'm bringing sexy back. I got my tickets to anyone going to the New Jersey and the New York City show of the one, the only JT. It's like oh in October. God. I'm going to see what? some Justin Timberlake. We could have gone together out here in LA. I want to go at SoFi. I'm thinking of going like, uh, I'm thinking of going last minute, solo dolo, because my husband doesn't want to see JT. Excuse me. I'll, I'll, I think it's at Kia, but I'll go to a third show with you. Little JT. I, let's go. Oh my God. That show is going to be so good. Oh, really? I've seen oh. him before. It was great. And look, this sweatshirt I'm wearing is Paula Abdul. I saw him tour with NSYNC, NSYNC back in the day and they were unbelievable. Oh my God. They Rumor so is Jessica Biel is very, very nervous about the tour. It just made headlines again that she's- Why? Well, you know, last, you know, he was kissy, kissy, you know, feeling off that. You remember this whole thing, that that picture yes. and this, she was she, between his legs and Miss Beale is, um, listen, it's hard to be hot and famous and married, you know? He's, um, he's a catch and he is one to what he's very, I bet he's a big flirt. And, um, I was actually more worried. I think he's going to have a hard time on selling out this tour. I think, I think it's going to be very rough, this tour. I don't know. I just have a feeling. But maybe not. Maybe he can bring out in sync and some other. Like I said, I, I mean, I hope he does dick in a box. Like I want him to bring out, you know, Andy uh, Sandberg and you know Jimmy Fallon. I think he's going to pull some tricks up his sleeve because people are <clears throat> very either Team Britney or Team JT. I'm uh, I'm okay with both. I mean, Blackout, my favorite Britney album ever. After the breakdown, it's great music. And uh, JT's my boy. I think it's good music. Wow. But, you know, they're saying it charted very low and he hasn't had any hits. And um, he, before, he, yeah. He made a faux pas with um, this back and forth with Britney. You know, she ended up apologizing. I don't know if you read her memoir. I actually read her memoir, oh, yes. which was in, very, very interesting to read. And she came out and said, I'm really sorry about everything I wrote about JT. Cause you know, of course she accused him of having a black scent and she said, you know, he kind of wanted her to get an abortion. Then he dumped her right after she got the abortion. And he was the love of her life to this day. I believe she was madly in love. And I think she would have run away with him at 19, had his babies and been just as happy as pursuing being Brittany. But then he went on stage and said, I apologize to absolutely fucking no one. And he should have just left it. And honestly, if I were him, I would have called her tried to make nice and brought her out for my LA show in those jean, in those jean outfits they famously wore to the VMAs back in the day. And I would have sang a song with her. Oh, the world would have stopped for a moment. I don't know why he's not that bright. I, I've heard mi mixed things. Like maybe he's just such a cocky SOB, but. I've heard some things. Well, you and I have talked about this in terms of like uh, Mr. Lewis and Miss McDonald. Hi, Heather. Heather, listen, she's a fan. And I love her. I love her for that. Um, we've talked about this, you know, like do these feuds like Lewis and McDonald. And, yeah, you know, they work. There's some earrings and I still, guess what? I still don't know. I said this before. Someone thought I was kidding. I The only earrings I know are the $750,000 from my buddy, Ronald Richards. I I love Ronald Richards. That's real. I'm not, that's not a, but the only ones I know are those with the Erica Jane. And then we had the producers from the housewife and the hustler and my girl, Kimberly Archie. I have no fucking clue what these people are talking about. These earrings with Heather and Jeff. I don't know. I truly don't know anything about them, but apparently there was some big feud over some earrings and this one's lying and that one's lying. And I'm not taking sides because I don't fucking know what happened. I, I didn't pay attention either. I grew up in radio, morning radio, and we were always, there yes. were always radio wars. People were always feuding, which was very Howard Stern. Howard was always yeah. feuding with Opie and Anthony or with Don Imus. And when I was on the Kane show, we always took that, you know, we, we were feuding with Bobby Brown. And of course, I've I've told this story many times, but Phaedra Parks was his attorney back in the day. We were beefing with them. I mean, we were always, and I it did work in the early aughts. I just... I don't know if it were I feel like it does it works for this quick spike and then I don't know do people care 
but maybe it's helped their ratings. I only talk about RHONJ on the Patreon, but the RHONJ crap, those people fight all the time. Oh my God, I can't keep up. I don't know. I don't know if it helps. Um, guess what? By the way, when you talk about your radio stuff, just in case you don't know, Howard won. Whatever feud it was, ha- Howard oh, won. Howard was the best. Oh yes. my God, Howard was the best. There's nobody greater on earth. I mean, the show is not particularly great now, but he, it doesn't matter. He was such a rock star back in the day. Oh. Howard was the best. He is anyway, the I, best. I tend to think, I really don't think it works. I don't, I mean, I bet Jeff's ratings are the same as they were before. And he probably got a huge spike when everything was going down. And now it's just leveled out. And I think Heather's is the same. Heather's, I, I've always said, I'm a huge fan of her show. She's got, she's an incredible podcaster. Uh, one of the few, because unfortunately you and I have sampled a lot of his shows. And I, I, I. But uh, Heather is one of the good ones. I don't. I don't know that it's particularly helped Heather. Um, I don't know that it's particularly helped her either. I know that there was. Um, I know there was a lot of fallout on both sides from that. You know, I think people get into it for a minute and then they're over it. And uh, the other one, um, do you ever listen to that true crime obsessed podcast? Apparently, that guy no. that like, that, um, he like I get. I think he does a lot of shady stuff. And, and I mean, I don't, I, I think his ratings are just the same. I mean, they're good. I know there's Listen, a whole It is him. what it is. You know, who's also having a little bit of a problem these days. Uh, this Leah McSweeney, she's brought oh, a it's- lawsuit. <laughs> she's brought a lawsuit. You know, there's no, you know, let's just review. Caroline has sued. And I told you this on the phone yesterday. I mean, I don't know if everyone realizes this. Like, Caroline has sued, like, you know, Shed Media and Bravo and the parent company, Warner Brothers. She didn't sue Andy. And I, I've i known this from a very reliable source, but I don't know if I ever said this on air. Like, remember when Andy was in New York? When Jeff Lewis was in New York, he comes to New York because he's like, let me have Countess on and Maj, Maj the Saj. You know, and he has all the New York people on. Sometimes he comes here and he... Puts the, so when he was in New York, Caroline was on Jeff Lewis and Andy showed up because it's the same building, Sirius, and called Caroline out and talked to her in the hall. I don't know if everyone remembers when this happened, but someone told me at that time, and I mean, I could reveal it here today, like that he was pulled Caroline out and said, you know, I just want to thank you because I know you're about to sue everyone and thank you for not personally suing me. I believe it. I believe I was told at the time this Caroline, I've said from the beginning, was in arbitration right away because that's what the contract said. And then she went to the suit, but they all knew it was coming. And he called her out and said, you know, I just want to thank you for not suing me personally. And Brandy is sued no one. Well, now Andy is sued personally, in addition to NBC and Shed and Warner Brothers by Leah McSweeney. Would you ever have expected this one? Yes, oh. I would have expected this um, because she was in the Vanity Fair, very uh, reality reckoning um, article that sort of fell short of, I think, what we were all hoping. It really was a nothing burger. 